Hey, thanks for sharing your plan. I'm going to turn the grid off. I know I just never gotten the habit of using it. And you've got a dialog box here and you've got the, the proper setting. You go open this wall and go to the roof and okay, that's the correct setting. And you're getting it on this side. See, you can see it right there, not on this side. Well, in my experience, I've been using this software for 24 years and it's wonderful software, but it's not perfect and never will be perfect. So uh, let me fix this up so I can, so you can continue to edit it in pro. I'm using a uh, Cheap Architect X11 Premiere. What I'm gonna do is uh, create an overview camera and then I'm gonna go shift, on the keyboard shift F6 to tile the screens. We'll move this around and zoom in. And so this shows up a little bit better. I'm gonna change the camera type to a vector view and I'm gonna turn the color off. And now you can clearly, it's easier to see. That's all, the only reason I'm doing that. Now what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm going to go over here to the plan screen, click on it, and then open display options and go to walls. And, uh, invis oh, invisible walls are on. Okay, maybe railing walls are turned off. No. I don't know why I can't see that wall. Anyway, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just go to the uh, roof tools, make that the active tool and then left click and drag and create a manual roof, roof plane right there. And yeah, I want it over the wall top. And it should, yeah, see there it is. So there's the start of a, of a return now. Of course it doesn't go up that high, so I'm gonna bring it back. And oh, whoops on this screen, I think that's 36 inches. So I'm gonna set this one, this manual return, I'm gonna bring it over to there, to the corner. The one thing I wanna do is uh, on this roof plane here, I wanna open the dialog box and find out what the uh, fascia top height is right there. I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard and then make sure that this one matches. It probably does, but okay, I'm gonna lock the pitch and then copy paste that value in there. Okay, it, it didn't need changing. I was just checking. Now I'm gonna draw a manual uh, dimension from here to here and set that, this edge here to three feet. And you give a little extra line there, but uh, you know, at least now you've got your return. Now, if you take, go out of vector view, it's not, doesn't stand out so much. I'm gonna go back to, uh, no, that's not it. What am I, where's the icon I'm looking for? Oh, I need to go on this screen. That's what the problem was. and turn the color back on. That's pretty much it. Oh, the, the roof material's wrong. You didn't change your defaults. If you change your defaults to this darker color, then I'm just gonna eye dropper it. But that's what can, when the, when the automatic tools fail, you just step in manually and fix it. That's my advice anyway. And uh, as great as this software is, it's not perfect, never has been perfect, and I doubt that it ever will be in the future. Perfect. That's what end users are for. They step in and, and do what you have to do to get the product that you want. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Um, my cursor's stuck.